Now to the biggest question on the minds of many Vancouver Islanders. Where's the summer? It's been another cold, wet day across the island. A huge disappointment for many people on vacation, but there is a silver lining. Dean Stoltz reports. This is quickly turning into a summer to forget on Vancouver Island as many parts of it are once again doused in a downpour. Beaches are mostly empty under cold gray skies. There's no waiting at many golf courses and that water slide won't be very busy this week either. And if you're looking for a table for a picnic, that won't be a problem. You're from Victoria Camping here. How's it been? It's been like this, cloudy, <laughs> rainy. North of Courtney, here at the Miracle Beach Provincial Park Campground, Vancouver Island's largest, there are people making the best of the weather. But the numbers of visitors are down this summer. Well, it's dampened the spirits of the campers a little bit, but not much. Uh, it's a beautiful park. People are still enjoying themselves. I have to wear pants uh, this year, and I, have, I don't do that in the summer usually. <laughs> so it's been cool. It's been cool. Ken and Janet Pidwizaki are bundled up more for October weather than July. So you were in a tent last night. Just tell me how that was in a pouring rain. It was uh, dry in the tent and very wet on the outside, but otherwise it was very nice. You're bundled up for July, it looks like. We had either down sleeping bags, you betcha. And we're bundled up this morning. And we're sure. bundled up this morning. Maybe you'll shed a layer this afternoon? I oh, sure hope sure. so. <laughs> the rain is good news for Vancouver Island and the South Coast's annual summer forest fire risk. There's no risk here. These trees are dripping and the ground is saturated as yet another squall moves through the Comox Valley. We've had one third of the fires of our eight year average, which is 33 fires to date. There has been no lightning caused fires, so all those fires are human caused. In fact, hundreds of BC forest firefighters have been sent to Ontario, Alberta and the Yukon because there's just no work here. And you still can frolic in the snow on Vancouver Island. Mount Washington, though, is finally ready to open its summer mountain biking park this Friday, barely. Yeah, we're opening up uh, this Friday for the bike park. It is two weeks delayed and uh, we're going to have two trails out of 16 open. And there will actually be uh, snow banks on either side, so it's going to be an interesting opening for us for uh, what's supposed to be summer operations. If summer doesn't come, you can always bundle up with the diehards at your local beach.